Recovering in wrestling is very different compared to other sports because in other sports, if you get injured, it's kind of like, oh, I broke my finger. I'm going to go sit out for three weeks, five weeks or whatever. Especially at the end of the year, you don't really play for a team. You're just playing for yourself. Most people would rather not take the time off and just accumulate like minor injuries and continue wrestling which completely makes sense i've done that before there does have to be time for recovery you do have to do the things that will help your body recover you cannot just allow your body to like accumulate injuries and not at least give it to the tools to recover in the time that it has i understand you're probably going to be wrestling every day or five days a week six days a week your recovery comes from so your recovery comes from the food you eat like the vitamins and minerals that you take in with with your food so you need to be eating vegetables you need to be eating meats you need to be getting the proper amount of nutrients i'm not like a nutritionist i'm not anything special but if you're eating junk if you're eating like a ton of carbs and they're empty calories and you're eating too many calories or you're eating not enough then like of course your body's gonna ache and be sore. You need amino acids, you need proteins, you need things to help like build your body back up. Because in wrestling, you're constantly tearing it down, tearing it down, tearing it down, with the idea that tomorrow, when you sleep, you're gonna recover, get better, and you can do even better tomorrow. That makes sense. So, but, so yeah, what you put into your body is very, very like important. You'll be surprised if you like eat a diet of Twizzlers and ice cream and like even if you eat this stuff like only once a day or you eat this stuff like twice a week or whatever. Just cutting it out and replacing it with something healthier will make a world of a difference. It, like, it can be the difference between you winning and losing a match. The time in which you recover is, like the time that your body actually recovers is the time you spend sleeping. So do not cut your sleep short. Do not stay up late at night. You know what I mean? You, like you want to be able to sleep eight hours a night. If your school starts at seven, then you have to be in bed by like 1030 at the latest. So that you can just wake up and like go to school if that's what you're doing. Or after practice, take a nap, like after you do, before you do your homework, you know what I mean? If you get home from practice at five, then take a nap until seven and then do your homework, right? But you have to be on top of that. You have to be getting at least eight hours of sleep every single day because like, if not, then your body won't recover properly. And you'll like, you'll be sore for, you'll be sore for longer and you'll perform worse. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not worth it. It's better just to sleep. Another thing, like, something to do, something that helps with recovery, and, like, it just helps with your wrestling, is, believe it or not, visualization. Visualizing yourself wrestling, visualizing yourself beating someone up in a wrestling match, and how you would do it before you go to sleep, helps so much. Because it, like, puts your brain into this mode of, like, thinking about wrestling, and it works on, like, the wrestling moves that you know, and, like, it, it gets you better at it. It gets you, like quicker I, I don't know i saw it explained on joe rogan made a lot of sense and they taught that uh, they taught that to me at, at j rob and like it really does make sense like if you if you watch a video and you visualize yourself doing a move and you know exactly how you'll do it sometimes you don't even need to drill and you can hit it live in practice so if you're eating right you're visualizing before you go to sleep and you're sleeping for eight hours you still need specific days to recover. If you're avoiding going to the doctor because you're afraid that they're going to make they're going to like medically whatever discharge you or stop you from wrestling, like that's very subjective. You have to decide that for yourself, you know what I mean? If you have a broken finger, maybe you can tape it, right? But if your shoulder's torn out of place, and like it keeps on popping in and out of place then you need to go to a doc don't be stupid about this don't take recovery time don't like don't don't take advantage of that don't think just blow it off and think like oh i don't need to recover even if your doctor gives you eight weeks and you only like sit out for three like at least you at least give yourself the like some time to recover don't just wrestle through it because you're gonna end up way worse for it something i don't recommend is taking cortisone shots if you guys don't know what that is it's like for inflammation my friend took one and it completely like changed the course of his whole season he had to like stop wrestling because he was saying like muscles were moving his neck and like it was some crazy stuff like some crazy crazy stuff but um i wouldn't suggest cortisone shots take that in the postseason or off season if you guys like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button but until next time i'll see you guys peace